Enrique Peñalosa, very simple question to start off. What makes a city, an urban city, livable? Well, it sounds very obvious, but uh, a city that is designed for people, and I would say for the most vulnerable citizens, the elderly, the children, the handicapped, the low-income citizens. If we design a city for the most vulnerable citizens, it will be a good city for everybody else. What role does transport play in that? Well, in order to make full use of all the great potential that a city has, because I think the city is the best place for the realization of the human potential, regardless of what we want to do. If we want to be musicians or to listen to music or to read or to be scientists or to know about engines or uh, dog competitions uh, or anything the city is the place but then we need mobility to be able to to make full use of this and uh, we should be able to have mobility that is uh, efficient low cost that is accessible to everybody and as comfortable as possible what would be your first new transport initiative if you win uh, a re-election in the fall well, I would say that uh, it's clear that it should, the emphasis should be put in uh, public transport, in mass transit. Uh, and I believe that uh, the first resource that we have, the most valuable resource in a city, is its road space. I mean, even if we were to find diamonds or oil underground, it's much less valuable than road space. Road space is extremely valuable. So the issue is how to distribute this road space between pedestrians, bicyclists, buses, and cars. And I think we have to give much more priority, improve pedestrian spaces, bicycle ways. Uh, I believe that if we have much better bicycle infrastructure, people will use much more the bicycle as a means of mobility. And this also creates equality in a city where there is so much inequality.